Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So I've covered a lot of stupid things to come out of Washington that try and prohibit these, right? But this might take the cake. Senator Dianne Feinstein from California just entered a bill that was overturned already by the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals a week prior. So after the Ninth Circuit found that it was unconstitutional, she decides to write a federal bill for it. Let's talk about it. Now, before we start this video, I do want to let you guys know that we have all sorts of new merch available. There's going to be a link down below. We have t-shirts, logo front, back, hoodies, tank tops, glasses, mugs, all sorts of cool things to check out. The link's going to be down below, so definitely check that out. Also, check out the USCCA, the main sponsor of this channel. They have uh, excellent resources online, definitely worth checking out. Plus, with your membership, you get that self-defense liability insurance, which is absolutely 100% worth it. So, let's get started. Now, this is probably going to be a short video, but I wanted to let you guys know that this bill was just introduced yesterday, May 19th, by Diane Feinstein out of California, and it is S4278. Now, I'm going to read you the title of this bill, and you're going to see how ridiculous this actually is. Because, again, this bill was introduced on the 19th, but on the 12th, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, which almost never goes our way, actually said that it is completely unconstitutional. So, the title of the bill is S4278, a bill to amend Title 18, United States Code, to prohibit the purchase of certain by individuals under 21 years of age and for other purposes. Again, on the 12th, already unconstitutional. On the 19th, the senator from that exact state introduces it into the Senate. Now, this is all just totally ridiculous to me, and I'm sure it is to you as well. I don't think this bill is going to go forward, but if it does, we already have precedent from the Ninth Circuit. And the Ninth Circuit even said that we have a rich history and tradition in this country of recognizing that people who are 18 years of age or older are considered legal adults and able to do stuff like this. Uh, it's basically what they're doing. The government's trying to move the goalpost further and further. So when you turn 18, for some reason, you get certain rights, but not others. And then when you turn 21, you get the rest of your rights. And so that goalpost is constantly being moved up. And so that's unconstitutional. And it's nothing that would actually be able to hold. But still, that's what she's trying to do. What gets me here is just the, the timing of it all. Obviously, she was writing this bill before the Ninth Circuit Court came out with their decision. But once the Ninth Circuit came out with their, their decision, she still decided to introduce it. She's still deciding to push it forward. And I'm wondering if one of her reasons is, is because if for some reason, let's just say that it actually makes its way through the process and does pass and gets signed by the president and so forth, uh, it could get tied up in litigation for a significant amount of time, in which case the law could apply during that time period. And maybe she's just hoping for that. And that, that's kind of what it is, like grasping for straws at this point. I'm not really sure. Either that or maybe she just doesn't even pay attention to the laws as they're passed or revoked in her own state. If she's not paying attention to what the Ninth Circuit has already ruled on a specific bill she's already writing about, then maybe she's just going to put it forward because she has no clue. I, I don't know, really know what it is. But again, this whole thing of moving the goalpost further and further out for your rights, you know, maybe you get your first tier and your second tier, and then maybe there's a, a third tier. So once you hit 40, maybe you get all of your rights once you hit 40. I mean, when does it end if you allow it to continually be moved? You know, and that's, that's kind of my question here. But again... S4278 looks to essentially stop or deny anybody who is under the age of 21 from getting one of those. And that's just absolutely ridiculous to me. So again, I wanted to make you guys aware of it. I want to know what you think about this because on one hand, I do kind of think it's, it's, it's funny how it, the, the ignorance here. But on the other end, it's also very disturbing. So I wanted to get your thoughts on what's happening here in the comment section. And if you guys wouldn't mind, hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And you guys have a great day.